Good morning, friends. It's Nancy, and I want to share a flip through of this newly completed journal. Uh, she is uh, five and a half inches by ooh, nine and or sorry, eight and three quarters and a bit. Uh, definitely longer than I'm used to. Um, so it's a little different proportion. I think I want to say this is inch and a quarter across the back. It has five signatures and it is a hidden hollow back spine. Um, if you're new to the channel, maybe you aren't aware, but I only use um, genuine ephemera. I don't use um, printables. I'm not saying that printables are wrong, bad, indifferent. Just saying that's my preference. I like to hunt for junk. Uh, 140 pages and let's get started. So I um, bought this book at library book sale last week. It dates to 1907. It's in fabulous shape for 1907. Uh, just a little bit of cleaning. Uh, I did a little bit of research. This um, this was actually the first edition of this book. Not valuable because it was a mess. And you will see how the appearance of some of the pages influenced uh, that. And he was a prolific writer. Um, he wrote 40 romance novels. On the inside, I like to use fabric for my inside covers. And so I did that front and back. I added some hand crochet doily to make pockets. All right, so here's the original front page um, with the, the date 1907. I hummed and hawed about using this because the foxing is, well, it's a giant fox, isn't it? It's not just normal. <laughs> but uh, I was encouraged to do it and therefore I did. Uh, for tabs, I used um, these are reproduction German scraps, but I made these clusters uh, in a video, was it last week or the week before? Um, so check uh, the Big Book of Ideas uh, playlist and you'll find it. This paper is dyed with purple cabbage. This is original book page, but I put this um, waterfall. Um, I wouldn't say it's a notepad as much as it's, uh, you can use it um, to tear off bits uh, to use in collage later. And this is an image from a book. I made this uh, pocket from a window envelope. And inside I have uh, a journal card that I made in um, as part of the Ready, Set, Stash challenge. This was Franken paper. It's got a tiny little pearl button there. And then this one goes in the back. This uh, image is from, I want to say 1899. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <laughs> um, this came from a 1907 report about a, a church. Just a little piece of writing paper here. Uh, fussy cut this card. It can, it can definitely, I'm searching for a piece of paper. can be definitely used to tuck something in. Let's grab another piece of paper just in case there's other things. Um, so just a little place to journal. There's that botanical image. Some tea dyed paper. This is an illustration from the original book. Uh, and I've stitched on some antique lace here. 
this is original book book page and I love the book page because each of the pages in the book had this um, teal green um, illustrations. This is a postcard that I made um, with a vintage um, embroidery piece. And I've just got a clip there. Another cluster. I included the title page of every chapter. Um, I want to say there was eight chapters. So I included every uh, chapter heading in order. More antique lace. Tea dyed paper. This is Little Tip Out, and I've included this um, dried flower that I dried myself. Well, it's a weed, actually. Um, and it opens up. There's a place to write here, but there's also a couple of little tea dyed um, bridge score sheets. So I've just um, attached a little bit of fabric and lace to them. This came from an old book about butterflies. And I've gessoed the inside so that it can be written on. This is an old ledger page from a, a cash book or something. This is an uh, original illustration. This is a uh, Franken paper. Franken paper card that I made. This is an authentic um, trade card from Staples and Griffin Grocers in Bangor, Maine. And this little darling, this is um, it's a card that I covered in this old ledger. And this came from uh, a calling card. It's genuine. And I just added this little piece of lace there to be a cuff. And I thought that was kind of pretty tucked in here. Um, yep. <laughs> Chapter four. Here's another tuck spot. And I've included this journal card. And um, this is an old uh, invoice from 1931. I cut a hole in it to make a uh, window. And so that little lady there is in the window. And on this side, it's a fussy cut from a book, um, some antique lace, and she opens up to do some writing. Here's a photo of a young lady in the garden. And she's on a um, book out of a, um, a book of poetry. And then this is a uh, um, torn bit of paper from an old book or magazine. I don't remember <laughs> one of those things. It's an original illustration with some antique lace. Another illustration. Here is uh, another of those clusters. This came from an 1870s magazine and uh, a Peterson magazine. This engraving was watercolored. And it opens up and there's some tea dyed paper inside so you can journal there. Um, and then on the other side, whoops, uh, there's a pocket and I included this journal card there and she just goes up in the window. Old notebook paper. This came from a shorthand um, textbook.
Um, this is another journal card that I made, but I glued it down. And it is uh, a belly band. You can slide something in there. And it looks like it's supposed to be there. So this is an original uh, trade card from the Davis Sewing Machine Company. This last little cluster here has some... Um, um, green stamps. Mm -hmm. Chapter 8. In this envelope that I've got pinned to the top here, there's nothing in here, but you can certainly fold up a piece of paper and put it down there. Um, this is fabric on the front and inside this is a um, stitched, hand stitched paper um, bookmark. I preserved it by gluing it down onto this uh, piece of card and because you can see a lot of it was was pretty much gone at that stage and uh, I think it's a nice nice match with the colors in the journal it's got a tassel there and I'll just clip it back to the top of that page uh, there's a page from um, Edith Holden. A little notebook paper. Here's an illustration with antique lace. Another clippy on thing. So um, this little painting here came from an antique greeting card. So this has been hand painted onto this I don't know, you probably call it celluloid. Uh, and this is some old rag paper wrapped around a piece of tea dyed paper. So it's giving you some extra journaling space. So this is a book about uh, the laws in Britain once upon a time. I think it was definitely Georgian. Um, and I've stamped miscellany on the bottom and did a little bit of texture paste on the top. Um, I was inspired... Oh! George III! Inspired to make that by um, Kate at Pixie K Designs. Clip you back on. That's a vintage paper clip too. And then we're at the last page and inside the back I have another Franken paper journaling card with uh, some various lace and uh, a little butterfly stitched on there. So that is my Lady Caprice. I hope you enjoyed this flip through and um, I'm super thrilled to have made this so quickly. I'm going to get it in my eBay, eBay, Etsy store immediately. So if this is something you're interested in adding to your collection, uh, there's your lacy edges there. Uh, go over and take a look. And now that I have finished this journal, I am going to do a major cleanup of this room. I have decided that I have way too much stuff. And uh, stuff has to go because it's um, causing me irreparable harm. <laughs> it's hard to get at things. Um, I don't even know what I have anymore. And uh, I think I'll be a lot more creative with a lot less supplies. I have probably about 40 boxes of, well, not like huge boxes, but like, you know, maybe two inch deep boxes of themed journal ephemera. Uh, some stuff I've collected, books I've collected, things I've made, and I am going to be parting with some of those. So, 
um, or maybe I'm going to try to do one or two a week. And I might just start with Halloween because Halloween is right around the corner. So uh, keep an eye on my Instagram. I will post pictures there. And um, so if there's some vintage, 100% um, authentic stuff you're interested in collecting, uh, it'll be available soon. All right. You take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.